Hey, yeah, it's me. Same bitch that keeps abandoning her YouTube channel. I know, I know. I hate me too. So let's carry on. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel ah! i missed saying that so much all right elephant in the room yes i abandoned my channel again Oops. Oops. do i have reasons yes there are reasons there are valid reasons am i gonna list them to you i don't know do you want to hear them i don't think you want to fucking hear them i may touch up on it later on in the video but for now let me just get started okay but before we do, let's get into the song of the motherfucking week. You didn't think I forgot, right? You didn't think that. Never, ever. So much good music has been released in the freaking weeks that I've been gone. But you know I will always and forever prioritize reggaeton and just Latinx music in general. And right now, I do want to highlight a song that I've been bumping to horde. Actually, there's two. I've been gone for so long that I'm going to do two songs of the week. Okay, first one is Mujerón by Villano Antillano featuring Petaceta. Anda pal carajo, a bop, un palo, period. Second song of the week, Gatuela by fucking Carol G featuring Maldi cabrón, Maldi. Que, que clase palo, pa per. That's it. Go stream both of those songs, please. Let's carry on. All right. So as you saw by the title of today's video, today we're going to chat. But honestly, what inspired this video is a package I received literally today. Bitch, look at this. Do you see that? It says Pearl Smith, now at Sephora. This is not sponsored, by the way. I was literally shook and fucking surprised. I didn't know that Pearl Smith was now going to be available in Sephora. I'm the worst. I'm the worst curly influencer ever. I found out through this package and I am so but specifically one little product they sent out of the whole bunch this one a couple of you have requested over on my instagram which you should go follow by the way for me to review this new product from curl smith this is the curl smith full body thickening lotion i'm gonna show you my first impressions on it how i use it styling my hair the results and maybe day two and day three to see how the results last so first things first I'm gonna go wash my hair using their little detox kit. I'm not gonna film that whole fucking thing of me in the shower, but I will give you my thoughts on each product. This kit includes three products. The first one that should be applied is the Super Slip Prebiotic Primer. Then you're supposed to follow it with their scrub and then finish with the Postbiotic Calming Conditioner. So I'm gonna go do this. I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, hair was washed. So quick little speed review on the detox kit so the first step the primer is kind of like i, I thought it was going to be more like a, a foaming thing like an actual shampoo but it felt more like a like a co-wash and then you leave that on and then on top of it you use step two which is the little scrub shampoo situation it's not super scrubby so if you don't like 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 the grainy feel don't worry you're not gonna feel it and then the third and last step the conditioner i liked but the only thing that i didn't like is that it's minty listen that's that's a personal thing if you don't mind like minty feeling um shampoos conditioners anything like that like you're gonna love it so yeah if you're looking for a nice little clarifying system you might really like this or honestly in my opinion in my opinion just get the first product and the second product that's, that's all you need but don't tell girl smith that i said that okay let's carry on <laughs> okay so for what we came here for this thing right here all right so what is this exactly supposed to do these are the claims it's supposed to be a volumizing lotion for airy definition. So is this a defining cream? No. no. But is it going to kind of substitute that step of a defining cream? Yes. All right. So according to the instructions, it does say to go first with a leave-in conditioner or a moisturizer. I'm going to be using the Briojo Superfoods Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture 3 in 1 Leave-in Spray. One thing about Briojo, they're going to give you a mouthful for a product name. And then to apply the thickening lotion between your palms and distribute through the length of your wet hair making sure to coat everything <laughs> say less so basically it's supposed to be applied the same way that you would apply your defining cream let me do a quick little sectioning moment are my hopes and my expectations very high yes because this is supposed to give me my dream hair you know like i'm obsessed with volume and fullness if i had one wish if i could change something like physically about myself i would give myself more hair let's let's see what this product can do for me all right let's see what the texture of this is i haven't even pumped it yet Ooh. Ooh, okay. 
This is what, oh my God, it's so runny, holy shit. Okay, there we go. You can kind of see it there. It's very runny, super, super lightweight. Very much feels like, there's not a word in English to describe what I'm about to say. Pero se siente baboso. With just a little bit of rubbing, look, it turned absolutely clear. So this is supposed to be very, very lightweight. I'm just gonna do the praying hands method. Just like that, that's it. All the product was applied. I'm gonna do a little bit of raking and then shake and scrunch. I'm gonna repeat the same step over here. I don't know if I'm applying too much or not enough. Isn't that always the, the conundrum? Is that even the right word that I should be using? Not knowing if you're applying the right amount of product. Listen, this is just the first impressions. This is me experimenting with it, playing with it, seeing if my hair even likes it. You know what I mean? So whatever the conclusion is from this video, please get, get just take it with a grain of salt because what if it doesn't work? If it doesn't work, Maybe it's because I didn't apply enough product or maybe I applied too much, you know, like I gotta play around with it. But I wanted to give you my first impressions anyways. <laughs> All right, so it was already applied to these two sections of my little hair. I'm gonna apply it to these upper sections and, and we'll carry on. Give me a minute. Okay, my good besties, the product was applied everywhere. Now, um, according to the instructions too, it says that this product can be followed with other styling products if needed, diffuse or air dry as usual. So, so, so. So I'm gonna layer this product on top. This is the Curlsmith Curl Defining Styling Souffle. And this might be a great idea, but it also might be a terrible idea. Why you ask? Because I've never used this before. For those of you who have never used this product before, look at it. If I lean this jar even a little bit more, this shit is gonna spill everywhere. It's so cool. It looks like gelatine. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> I'm a child. Anyways. I'm gonna put that bit all over this section. I'm not gonna put a whole lot because I really want to see how the first product acts almost like by itself. Like this is just going to enhance maybe, just help with the definition, but I, I don't wanna layer too much product on top. I'm just gonna be glazing it. All right, and then just scrunch it up. Oh my God, this smells so freaking good. Okay, that definitely helped with definition. I mean, in comparison, look, this doesn't have the souffle, this has the souffle. I'm gonna take a bit more to put on the other side. Don't worry, don't worry. Same thing, I'm just gonna be glazing, glazing, and scratching. All right, so far so good, honestly. Like, the definition was upped by that little souffle. I am not going to brush style the entirety of my head because, as I said, we're not focusing on definition, but I will do a little bit of brush styling on this section right here because I want to get a bit of a, a root lift. So I'm just gonna do that. The type of brush styling I like to do when I wanna focus on volume, it's like this. Like, I like brushing upwards. And when I fall, I kinda like hold it here at the root and then shake. And then I'll do a little bit of scrunching while still holding the hair like this, just so that I get this effect. This little root lift, you see this side compared to that. This one is already lifted. While I do that, I do want to touch on something that I kind of uh, mentioned earlier in the video about my little <laughs> absence on YouTube. <laughs> Honestly, the main reason why I've been absent again <sighs> is because, as I said, life. Life has kind of gotten in the way, but not in the way of like, oh, something big and crazy happened in my life and that's why I've been gone. No, it's just simply the fact that it's gotten really hard for me as a creator to balance everything at the same time. I have mentioned before on my channel that I am not a full-time creator, so I still have to balance my other job, which is very important to me, and it's a job that I really love, and juggle the responsibilities that now I have on my other platforms. My other platforms being Instagram and TikTok. Listen, is it hard for me to create content on Instagram and TikTok? No, absolutely not. But it is very time consuming, and unfortunately for me and for so many creators, the focus in social media, in the influencer marketing world, the focus is shifting very much towards short form content. That's what all brands want you to do now. And unfortunately, I have bills to pay and that is where most of the money is coming from. So I have to spend way more time on short form content that I would like. So it's not as easy anymore to just be like, oh, fuck those reels, like, 
I'm gonna spend these next two hours filming and the next three to four days editing this one YouTube video. Like, it, it's, it's gotten very unrealistic because I do need those three hours that I would spend on filming and then those three to four days that I would spend editing one YouTube video. I unfortunately now have to spend it filming 10 to 15 reels and editing them because that's where the fucking focus is now. It's not that I hate reels and I hate Instagram and I hate TikTok, but I hate that that's now where all the focus is at. That's it. it. I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to explain to you guys why have I suddenly become this super inconsistent YouTuber when I used to film all the time and I used to post at least minimum once a week. If you do want to hear more about this type of like shift and like, I don't know, more on this topic, one of my faves, Miss Samantha Ravendall, she recently made a YouTube video. I'm going to put the picture here, the thumbnail, and I'll link it down below in case you want to hear more about it. Anyways, that's it. Rant over. The sun is going to set in like 35 or 40 minutes. So this is already my hair completely styled. I'm going to go diffuse and I'll be right back to see what it looks like fully drawn stay in the fucking tomb don't fucking leave yet kbrb hey did i interrupt my own video again yeah yeah i did because you know what time it is it's ad time baby <laughs> this video is once again kindly sponsored by skillshare <laughs> an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you get your life together yeah or maybe just improve in a few skills here and there <laughs> listen i can teach you all about wavy hair but through skillshare the options are endless baby mm -hmm. for example you can start on those piano lessons that you've been putting off since you were like 10 years old through todd porter's piano lessons for beginners or even better save some money from your bi-weekly visits to the nail salon and learn how to do your own nail designs at home babes this class called nail art colorful creative designs to paint and share by imarni nails has you covered she takes you step by step there's no way you're not gonna learn so if you want to join in the fun in the learning in the growing in the upgrading just click the link in my bio to get 30 days free of skillshare now back to the video okay hey sorry i have to move the camera exactly in front of the cam in front of the camera in front of the window because the sun is disappearing on me but my hair is fully dry but the in what i am literally speechless because why does it have this crazy cast like all i used was like the tiniest bit of this freaking gel beware if you want to try this you will get very strong hold and a very strong cast so beware a little bit goes a very long way so I'm gonna be using another Curlsmith product. I mean, th did this turn into a... Well, no, because I used a Briojo leave-in conditioner. But except for the Briojo leave-in conditioner, this was a, a fully Curlsmith wash day. Oh, look at me. All right, so this is the Curlsmith bonding oil. I've heard so many good things about this. It's supposed to be very lightweight. And does it have protein? Let me see how lightweight it actually is. Oh, oh, it is very lightweight. I can't even turn my hand. I'm gonna make a mess. Okay, hold on. You see that? Okay, exactly. <laughs> so let me just start right away. I just used like, what was that? Like a pump and a half or maybe just one. Oh my God, this smells so good. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna glaze it over and start scrunching because I wanna get rid of this damn cast. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I look fucking crazy, but I just wanna show you the difference between scrunched out, not scrunched out, Stop, because this is promising to be a really good wash day result. And I barely did anything. I have been sleeping, sleeping on Curlsmith products. Shame on me. Okay, friends, hair is now, what, what the hell is going on with my bangs? Do I ever know what's going on with my bangs? Okay, this is it. My hair is fully now scrunched out, is fully dry. I am a little surprised, not just at how full it looks because it does, but what I'm most like shocked by is the definition that I have. And I think it was this. Let me give you a little, a little close up. It's very, very shiny, very much giving, bouncy, lightweight, airy, fluffy, but it's also giving definition. So the definition part, I'm gonna have to give to this but the fluffy airy volume and bounce i'm gonna have to give to this let me give you a look at the back because that can never never fail i am very pleased with what i'm seeing and considering that i didn't use mousse or any of my like volumizing sprays i am very surprised with this we'll see how they last i'll see you tomorrow on day two hair to see if the shit is worth it or not <laughs> hello my beloved besties welcome to second day um please excuse my face it's still the morning. I have allergies. Drinking my morning and moody. 
Anyways, let's get to this hair, shall we? All right, I pushed it all to the front. And honestly, honestly, this is not bad, especially for a second day hair. I mean, to be honest, my favorite hair day is second day because it kind of like already gives more like lived in. Yes, there is a little bit of frizz, especially today since it's fucking raining all day. It just looks a little bit more floofy than yesterday, but honestly, I don't mind considering that that's what the cream that we used promises. Kind of like that airy, bouncy curl. Not so much like a tight, perfect, defined curl. I'm gonna flip it to one side so that you see getting a little bit of a close up in here. Honestly, it still looks very good. I will say that uh, next time I use this product, I'm going to use even less of that souffle gel thing that I used because I really wanna see if with less gel, I can get even more bounce and even more uh, volume. But yeah, this was second day. So far, so good. So I will see you tomorrow for third day hair. Hey, welcome to day three hair. Okay, okay, okay. I know it's very frizzy, it's a little crazy, but let's consider these factors, okay? First is day three. Second, it hasn't stopped being incredibly human in New York. And third, I just came back from the gym. Obviously I showered and I did my makeup and everything, but this is like post gym hair. Like this got so motherfucking sweaty today. So considering all of those three things, it's not the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> But I mean, I haven't refreshed it either. I haven't even used dry shampoo. And it's not like my my roots are flat at all. I still have a little bit of volume on the root. I still have like a, the tiniest little bit of a definition going on. And I would not mind going out like this. It's giving fluffy beachy waves. That's it, that's it. This is where the updates end. I'm gonna go do a little hairstyle that I wanna try for today. And I'll be right back so we can talk, you know, final thoughts on this little baby right here. Is it giving Carly Arianka? Is it? I hope so. Anyways, okay. Final thoughts on this little thickening lotion by Curlsmith. First impressions, it was a very easy product to use. It understood the assignment. If it's supposed to be a thickening, volumizing type of product, it is meant to be lightweight. It's meant to give a little, a tiny little bit of hold, but overall it's supposed to just let your hair breathe as much as possible so that it can look as full and as fluffy and as voluminous as possible. You know what I mean? So in my opinion, the product does achieve what it promises to achieve. Yeah, th that makes sense, that makes sense. But, but, just because a product says that it's going to give your hair fullness, it's not going to change what you already have. If you have low density hair, this product is not going to magically make you look like you have high density hair. It's just going to help your hair look as fluffy and as lightweight as possible. Now, is it absolutely and 100% worth the $28? I mean, that's up to you, but I wouldn't be like, oh my God, you need to ditch whatever lotion you're using right now in your hair and go get this because this is gonna give you the best hair. Like, no. I think it's a good alternative. I think it's a good option for those of you who are looking for a lightweight enough cream that's going to give you um, um, some definition and moisture without weighing your hair down. But also there's so many lotions that can do that for your hair. Any lotion that you add some water to it and emulsify is gonna become lightweight enough to give your hair hold and definition without weighing your hair down. So I mean, it's up to you. That's my opinion, those are my thoughts. But if you are curious and you wanna go get it, if you like the results that I got from it, I mean, third day hair and still looking pretty full, pretty fluffy, pretty voluminous, it is good. It is really good. But that's it. I hope you found this helpful, entertaining, whatever. Also, I would love to hear your thoughts on the little <clears throat> sidebar conversation that I had about content creators and short form content versus long form content. Thank you so much for watching. I would also love and appreciate if you wanna follow me on Instagram at nemesismarie06 and on TikTok at nemesismarie underscore zero six as I do spend most of my time on those other apps. If you wanna follow up with me, if you wanna keep up with what I'm doing or whatever, I'm over there, those apps way more than I'm in YouTube right now. But most importantly, girls, boys, gender non-binaries, have a great rest of your day. Bye. Okay, I'm so fucking cringy, bye.